Welcome back, everybody, to Uncle Karius. There was something I was supposed to say. I don't remember. <laughs> I made up like a new intro for him. I forgot what I said. All right, we're back here in Uncle Karius, though. The uh, Titanic slash cruise ship slash whatever you want to call it. It's still not really. I haven't worked on it at all, so don't worry about it. But this is what it looks like if anyone wanted to see the whole thing. At least the whole shape. Wow, what a beauty, right? You guys probably aren't even able to see it. I can barely see it either, I'll be honest. But yeah, we're going into the aquatic depths. And then I think either next episode we'll head into the abyss. Fight the wall of flesh. That seems about right. So we're going to activate the sunshine potion. Because hopefully we don't have to throw glow sticks everywhere. Because I really don't feel like doing that. But here we are. Man, back in my day, this music was way slower <laughs> back in my days this music was different in general how much okay so we heal for what 120 right now how much do the sea water chestnut potions heal for so 130 125 so we got five more health now that may not seem like a big difference but honestly it is a big difference in terraria you never know when that little tiny speck of health is gonna help. Are those snails? I mean, I'll catch them, might as well. But, yeah, you never know when that little tiny sliver of health will help out. Why would I ever need that? Would I just. Star statues? I mean, I'll take it. What? I don't even know what's going on right now. Alright, let's try and loot these chests. That is the goal right now. See what kind of goodies we can get from here. I think, in general, though. We're pretty good on armor. Well, armored. Uh, we're pretty good on everything right now. I think we can take on the wall of flesh. Obviously, with a little bit of uh, maneuvering, it should be no problem. Okay, how does this give you marine rock? I never understood blocks like that. How does Thorium do that? They got a couple of blocks there like that. Why? I feel like if something is favorited, it should be prioritized. And then the placement of where it's at should also help with the prioritization because i want to use the sticky ones but when i pick up other glow sticks it uses the other ones oh you can't blow this up bro i don't want to see your mining aqua for like a year <laughs> i mean whatever so we do have the i was gonna say rights but i don't think using the word rights is the best word i was gonna say we do have the rights to make the aqua to aqua ite armor if needed because completely ocean related slash fish related so it wouldn't be bad but like our armor set on its own is pretty damn good and we're coming to the aquatic depths pretty late anyways like we're about to fight the wall of flesh that's my bad i forgot about it i'll be honest uh, <laughs> it's a place that you don't exactly have to visit it's more of a place that you can visit and i kind of wish for thorium's progression they should force the aquatic depths as a place you have to visit because there's no boss here early game. you just have to you fight the queen jellyfish that's it and that's you don't even have to be in the aquatic depths to do that i've actually never fought any other boss in the aquatic depths at least from what i remember but i feel like they should definitely force the aquatic depths more because it's really cool by them but it ain't forced enough like you can completely skip it every playthrough i probably could have completely skipped it unless specifically i wanted something here like this for example but we already have the, the ocarina. But I think the rainstone's way better than the ocarina. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Thorium update coming soon though. Stay woke for that. Uh, just, we'll just do something with that. Maybe I'll do a video about it. I don't know. I mean, obviously we'll see the new boss in an episode. Hopefully in this series. I hope the new boss is a hard mode boss. That's what I'm looking for. Hard mode boss. How many hard mode Thorium bosses are there? It's a good bit. I think. Like four. That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm going to loot some chests because there's not really too much to show off down here. Besides the loot I get. And then we'll, we'll figure out what to do after that. I don't know why. Platinum looks really weird down here. Maybe while you're down here, there's like a weird tint to like platinum and stuff. Who knows? Look at this block. Why does this block look like this? compared to that block i don't know what special thing historian be doing but keep doing it it's cool keep it up gotta give them those words of wisdom marine kelp what is marine kelp used for more potions nice i'll hold on to it might as well put the star statue here 
Might as well drink the hunter potion and then let's go ahead and take those because we're just gonna toss these in here anyways. But look, we got a aquamarine wine glass, which is a cool weapon. I like it. And be like, what would you just do? Well, I'll show you what I just did. Oh, it's not gonna work through the wall. Okay, hold up. Let me try again. Don't hit me. Long arm. Squidward tentacles looking ass. Get out of here. This weapon's not bad at all. This thing definitely has some uses during the bard playthrough. But uh it's also not the easiest weapon to use. There's a certain way you gotta use it. And uh, I was pretty good at using it back then during the bard playthrough, but now let's not talk about it now, alright? Let's, let's don't worry about it. Let's put this in here and go ahead and take this. I keep accidentally throwing some out. We don't need that. Uh, I'll take my ice cream thing back. I like my ice creamer. What a delicious weapon name. We got Agnor's Bowl, which honestly I might just keep with me. That's like a third dude we have with us. <laughs> we got the Leviathan, we got the Siren, and then we got my boy Agnor. What y'all think? Agnor for president? Okay, I don't know about that. That's a little bit too ambitious. Or should I say, that's a little too ambitious. No, that's, no, that's terrible. Alright, so how do we make a shadow key? We need dungeon tokens. All right, that's not that bad, but let's try and find one, you know, naturally, not by crafting one, if we can, that is. I picked up this right here, Magic Conch. Shout out my boy, SpongeBob. You doing it big out there. Not really, the newer seasons are really bad. But, uh, I found this in one of the aquatic depths chests. And that's really the end of story, that's it. Look. I like the noise it makes. But, uh, is this the one that's really rare? I don't know. People always tell me every painting. I feel like I talk about this every time I find a rare painting. Now, people always tell me that the painting is rare. But then there's like a bug or something that makes those paintings like not rare. I don't know. <laughs> I, see them, I see a lot of paintings all the time nowadays. But, I, whoa. Oh, wait, dude, does this make people float? Oh, it does. I just noticed that. It's really weak. <laughs> I got mythical on the reforge, and it's really weak. I'm pretty sure I got mythical. It did, like, 26 damage, and then I got mythical. It does 29. It was, I don't know. Maybe it did 23. Even that, that's still a small amount of damage either way. But don't worry about it. It's just for decoration in my inventory at this point. But, uh, is there any chest here? <laughs> I don't know, we might have gotten all the chests. We might just be here for uh, dungeon tokens at this point. Which, uh, hopefully, it's not too hard to get. We got post skeletron tokens. Can we use this to make dungeon tokens? Wait, are dungeon tokens just straight up? You just get them down here? We about to see. I'm typing with one hand. That's why I'm typing really slow. Uh, I don't remember looting every chest down here. But we'll see. Some of you may be asking, why are you trying to get a shadow key? Well, you need a shadow key to access some of the items in the earlier part of the abyss. Because the abyss is going to be weird. We're not going to really be able to access a good bit of it for a little bit. From what I know, I know there's like, you got to do some post moon lord stuff for some of the areas in the abyss. I didn't know that you could put chests on spikes like that. I didn't know that I didn't break that chest. This is, see, this is, a, this is an important story. I always break chests when I loot them. Because I got excited when I saw that chest. And guess what? That excitement just vanished because there was nothing in it. That's why you always break chests. PSA with Gamers on one Tips from Gamers on one I'm actually using a new Team Mod Loader version. Because there was like an, a bug with Calamity in the Wall of Flesh or something like that. So it's good that I updated. Because we will be finding the clam, uh, Wall of Flesh next episode. Not the Calamity. That should be a Boston Calamity. The Calamity. Look at that. Genius over here. Terraria lore genius. Do we need water candles for anything? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we have a bunch anyways. Oh, are you real? The mysterious chest. Here we go. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you? Friendship is magic. Don't make me laugh. Everyone knows that friendship is witchcraft. Alright. I'm not gonna question what you've been through. Uh, star heart. Decrease mana by 10%. Cost. Mana cost by 10%. Magic grenade. This costs 5 gold to buy this magic grenade. 
We're gonna buy it just to see what it does, alright? Wait, it's something you hold? Oh, it's like the magic dagger. Bro, that's kinda... That's cool. <laughs> I hope it is. It is! Ow! It hurts! Well, I guess all the things always hurt. It's not that good, bro. When was I supposed to find this guy? Bro, <laughs> I don't got mana for this. I can't fight this guy. You know, just throw fish at him. The fish are way better anyway. Just throw the fish at him. He don't even want to get hit by the fish. Go grenade. Activate. Yeah, it's okay. Something you'd have to get pretty early on. But I don't know when you're supposed to be able to find this guy. Obviously, you got to find him in the dungeon. So you got to kill Skeletron. You got to kill Skeletron. So, uh, it's pretty tough. I hope he sells more stuff, because selling only two items is really just not the greatest. But uh, I'll put away the magic grenade for now. That's cool, though. I like it. Costs a little bit too much mana, but 20 mana? I know we can get that, like, decreased mana cost, but that means I gotta get rid of an accessory in my inventory. I don't really want to do that, so we buy accessories. Probably should switch that back. But yeah, I don't see a shadow key, so I guess I'm just gonna farm dungeon tokens. I'll be right back. I guess. All right. I found. Okay. So look at this. This is weird. This is like buried deep into the wall. Look how far I had a mine. I had a mine from here to here. I thought this was just a little tiny spot, but apparently it's more to the dungeon. Oh my god! We found the shadow key. Apparently it's more to the dungeon. We also found Nahongo. Nahongo. All right. Can you stop, bro? Open the door. I'm trying to open the door for you. These kind fellows. Oh my god. There you go, Jesus. That was way tougher than I thought it would be. Oh my god, that thing grabs onto you from way too far away. But, yeah, we found the shadow key just like that. I don't got a farm for no dungeon tokens anymore. No, I kind of wanted... No, I kind of didn't want to. It's fine, I'll take it. Why? How come the water isn't flooding through... Oh, no, we're out of here. <laughs> They're trying to drown me. We're going to keep Nahongo. Nahong, no, we won't. I don't know. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Why not? No reason not to. We got a bone welder. Do we already have a bone welder? We have multiple bone welders. We're gonna sell those then. We're gonna sell Nahonga. Uh, we'll keep it for now. Just because I'm not if we'll ever need it. Probably won't. I don't know why I auto. Whatever. Uh, Minotaur skull. We got one of those. We might need two. Might as well keep it. Alright, boom, bada, bing. I think we're gonna end this episode off here. Get ready for the next one because. We're going to be hopping into the abyss at the beginning of the episode and then taking on the wall flesh in the rest of the episode. So let's hope that our che your cheeks are you know, primed and ready because they're about to get next episode.